All right, so I'm going to jump into the front yard. I won't be taking Roxy, so say goodbye. This is her debut on YouTube. Um, but let's go into the front yard now. All right, so just a quick run throughout the front here. Um, some orange ranunculus about to pop open, which is super exciting. Um, this is the tree that I've replaced out the back, the Camilla tree. I think I'm saying that wrong, but this is the tree. It is definitely uh, dead, unfortunately. I'm not sure what these ones are, but they are growing very slow, but they look stunning. This one here I found out is a plum tree. So I cut it back a little bit, but I think I still need to cut a little bit more because if plums are on this, it will be falling down. More ranunculus, so I can't wait to see these ones bloom. The, the foliage is looking super healthy and fresh. This tree is a quince tree, so hopefully it comes back again. I did cut it, but I think it will need to be cut a little bit more. More ranunculus, the viburnum, which they have these beautiful white little flowers. Um, and from afar, they just look stunning. They look like lace. A tiny pomegranate tree that's come back to life. Um, they've got a red orange rose. Plenty of ranunculus down here, although it looks like only one is flowering at the moment. This potato has been decimated by bugs, so I'm just gonna leave it. Whatever bug is attracting it, it hasn't touched my other potatoes, touch wood. I'm not sure if it was because it was so far into the shrub. I don't know, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. More ranunculus. Um, I'll post some photos of these flowers here when they were in their prime, um, but they looked amazing. Same with these African flags. I always saw the birds eating them. Um, some of my potatoes, these, I don't think they're dying back because they're ready. I think they're dying back because it's been quite hot and they have been in there for longer than three months. But I'll, um, I'll unravel them and have a look. This is one of the lasagna bulb plants that we planted together. So it's got some anemones, some freesia, a tulip in the middle that looks pretty good. Um, but this, these anemones have been growing and thriving quite a bit. So they've been stunning to look at. More potato plants that have been in here for three months. So they're nearly ready to get out. I think these tulips must have been mixed tulips because there was a red, two red tulips, a late blooming yellow tulip and two tulips that haven't even started growing. Um, and it looks like here are some irises. Some more potatoes that I might actually harvest fairly soon and just have baby potatoes. I've been flaunting this so much on my Instagram. Everyone is probably sick of it, but look at the anemones. It looks so great um, next to the next to the basil. And I just love that in the in the wind they like it looks like a homemade bouquet. These are some new potatoes that I planted and they're looking really good, really lush um, compared to the older ones that I planted. So I can't wait to see them. Also some more spring chul, sorry, spring bulbs. I planted a finger lime. Is that what it is? Yeah, edible Australian tucker bush. Um, a finger lime, I cannot wait. Although just with this, it has so many spikes my compost heap my birds of paradise i'm not sure if the lemon tree is thriving got a lot of yellow leaves some that have been eaten but um there are plenty of like baby lemons on here so we'll just see i'll keep watering it keep fertilizing it the showstopper of my front yard um probably yesterday because these are blown out a little bit but this is another lasagna bowl method some beautiful sage gone to flower. More ranunculus in the front here. That one looks like it's going to be a very big one. More bulbs. White bulbs here. My first iris.
some tulips, birds of paradise. tiny little daffodil thank you all so much for stopping by i hope you enjoyed this little snippet of my garden and what i've been up to for the last few months i'm so sorry if the audio was a little bit bad hopefully in my next video we will rectify that i hope you enjoyed meeting roxy thank you all so much for watching and have a wonderful afternoon Hello everyone, um, just a quick little bit at the end of this video, I'm actually at my community garden so I can show you most of it is dried up. Um, I'm going to give it a quick refresh, uh, ready for spring. So the Chinese cabbage has gone to seed, um, the parsley is going to seed, lots of things have gone to seed. Um, my sugar snap peas are looking really good, I might actually harvest them today and eat them all. Um, these cabbage, awesome. They've had a lot of work, um, it looks like caterpillar damage, but they're really thick, which is good. Um, I cut out the broccoli that were here, and then I've got some leeks here. The Brussels sprouts, look how cute they are. Um, my eggplant. worm bin and then the nasturtiums wow the thyme's gone to seed okay it doesn't look much different but i've ripped up all of the peas except for one um, and i've just popped them there for now but i will put them in the compost bin i got a few pea seeds these that i'll be replanting either here in my garden and then most of this is clear except for the two pink cushions, the nasturtium, a random um, potato, and the chili. So I'll come back in about two weeks, get rid of everything else, and then start some watermelon and some pumpkin here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye!